Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. Working with couples and single parents of all backgrounds, Family Builders aims to find permanent homes for children in the foster care system. And Jill Jacobs and Yvonne Beals join me now to talk about this uh, foster system within the Bay Area, which is so crucial here and so needed. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, and also we should mention we're launching Wednesday's Child already have in partnership with uh, CBS and KPIX. So let's talk about Wednesday's Child first and foremost. You can start. Sure. Wednesday's Child is actually a national initiative to raise awareness throughout the country about the need for families um, for children and youth that are in the foster care system. And um, San Francisco was selected because we have a lot of kiddos in San Francisco County that uh, need families. And there's a disproportionate number of African American children. So we're really putting some emphasis on those kids and trying to reach out to a broad array of communities so folks will come forward and, and bring these kiddos home. That's where they need to be. Absolutely. And you were seeing a lot of them happen to be in, in the teenagers, young adults, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, mm -hmm. More than 60% of the children are age 13 and over, and now foster care can go to age 21. Mm -hmm. Youth can decide after they turn 18 if they want to stay in or if they want to, to exit. And right now, there are over 800 children and youth in foster care in San Francisco County alone and 60,000 statewide, so the need is definitely there. Um, how can uh, parents reach out if they want to take some, a child in? Well, there's a couple of ways that they can do it. Um, I'm actually representative of a, a, a program called California Kids Connection, and um, they can go onto the internet mm -hmm. and see children who are um, representative of all children in foster care throughout the state. So they can um, go there to, to start their process and see what children are available. But also they can visit our website, Family Builders, to uh, start their orientation process and learn more about the certification process of becoming a permanent home for a kid. And that can be uh, children of all ages, but like we were saying, mostly young adults at this stage, uh, and the, the crucial need to have a, a healthy home environment for them. But can it be single parents? Um, it doesn't have to be necessarily no. the, the traditional family, correct? Absolutely right. not. We welcome everybody as a prospective adoptive and foster parent. So single folks, including single men, for a long time single men weren't really welcome into the adoption arena, but single men, single women, LGBT families, uh, straight families, married, not married, uh, you don't have to own a home. If you live in an apartment, that's fine. Uh, you don't have to make tons of money. You have to make enough money to support a kid, so shoes and PB&J. But um, we really try and make the process as open as possible, and we're there to support families through every, every step of the way. There must be a big screening process, obviously, but this is a huge role for a family or a single parent or, or anyone to take in a foster child. They really have to be a mentor and be there. So what are the responsibilities if someone at home is thinking, I really would like to be involved and help? Well, parenting is a big task for in anyone general. in general. Right. But um, some of the kids are um, have experienced trauma, and it really takes a special individual or individuals um, to nurture that that child through that trauma. And um, but children are very resilient mm -hmm. when they have permanent families um, and a surrounding of a foundation that can comfort them through that and support them through that. Um, but parenting is no different from any other child of, a, um, of, of coming from a foster care. Right. And I know you have parent support groups, crisis support mm -hmm. groups, so there's plenty of outreach there, correct? We do. We pr provide as much support as, as we can, and we're available 24-7 for families when they're having a hard time. So there's a social worker, a master's level social worker that's involved in their life for a significant period of time. So we, we provide lots of support. And this isn't for the faint of heart. Kids who have been in foster care for a long time, particularly mm -hmm. adolescence is hard enough, and then you add the trauma of being in the foster care system or what early life trauma some of the, right. some of the children have had. It's tough, but as Yvonne said, the youth are amazingly resilient, mm -hmm. and they need somebody to believe in them. They need somebody to be there unconditionally with a lifelong commitment no matter what to believe in them. I'm and sure them, you've seen so many amazing success stories. Absolutely. Are there some that stand out that you can share? Well, not not names best, in yeah. general, but just I, I age groups. I think we have groups. a photo of yeah. a sibling group of four boys. They uh -huh. were in Southern California and it's hard to find families for big sibling groups. Those were four brothers and their most important relationships in the whole world were, were each other. And finding a family, especially in the Bay Area, that has the bedroom space for four boys is tough because, you know, 
gentrification, space is hard in the, in the Bay Area, but this wonderful gay couple that lives in the North Bay came forward, and I don't think they intended to adopt a sibling group of four, but they <laughs> heard about these kids, and they saw their photos, and they, they learned more about them, and, and they have gone forward, and they're an wow. amazing family. Oh, hats off to them. Yeah, the, the key is keeping the siblings together, so that Absolutely. must uh, warm your heart to see that and to see all these parents open, open their doors to, to these foster kids. Mm -hmm. um, is it a huge cost? Absolutely, uh, or absolutely not. not yeah. Yes, um, Family Builders offers our services for free. Mm -hmm. um, and there are minimal costs like fingerprinting and um, trainings like CPR and first aid. But to um, adopt a child through foster care through our program, it, it's, it's, there's no cost. But well, in addition to that, there's actually some subsidies to the parents who um, uh, who do adopt to help them through the process. Well, I wish you great success, and Wednesday's Child here featured on our stations are wonderful, and thank you both for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, for more information on Family Builders work, log on to familybuilders.org. That's familybuilders.org. And that's it for this week. We'll have more next week with Bay Area Focused.